When I was using my Apple Vision Pro that I just returned, um, maybe it's because Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is on my brain, but as I was looking through the environments and just like these breathtaking, amazing images, detailed graphics, especially in the Dinosaur Experience app that they have built in on the Apple Vision Pro, as I was using it, I realized that the Apple Vision Pro is actually using a technique that games like Final Fantasy VII used back in the PS1 era. The PlayStation was the first 3D console, so it wasn't going to be able to render full 3D backgrounds in any kind of detail. So a lot of games used pre-rendered backgrounds to take the processing load off of the graphics card so we could concentrate on rendering the characters in these pre-rendered environments. If you played any of the Final Fantasy games, if you played any of the Resident Evil games, Parasite Eve, so many games from the PS1 era used pre-rendered backgrounds, meaning they would have one static camera angle, and that static camera angle would be extremely detailed because all it was was an image. And that way, the graphics processor could spend all of its resources on rendering the individual characters. Now in the PlayStation 1 days, rendering individual characters <laughs> looked like this because it was a first generation 3D graphics processor. But now, so far into the future, obviously our PCs, our PlayStations, even our Mac laptops, can render fully 3D environments, but not the Apple Vision Pro. The Apple Vision Pro has to push way more pixels than any of those other devices. Yet, they achieve fully immersive, photorealistic almost 3D environments. So how do they do it? Well, they use pre-rendered backgrounds. If you're in any of these Apple immersive environments, you'll notice that you can't move forward, back, side to side. You can move a little bit, but not too much because they only rendered the part that you can see, just like in a PS1 game where the camera angle was static. In the Apple immersive environments, it's essentially the same thing. It's a static background that's rendered onto 3D textures. So it innovated in that way. Same with the dinosaur experience. They have a window you can look through and when you look at it's 3D, things are moving, but you can't go into the window. You can't interact with the environment. So Apple can really concentrate on creating a static environment so they can really render the dinosaurs to super high quality. They look fantastic. Traditional VR headsets like the MetaQuest 3 focus more on fully 3D immersive environments that you can walk around in. So they have to render the 3D on device, which makes games in the MetaQuest 3 look more like PS1 era first person shooters like Medal of Honor. All right, they look a lot better than that, but still they do not come close to matching the photorealistic detail of the Apple immersive environments. In some environments, they do what they did in the Resident Evil 1 remake for GameCube. They would have some objects in the foreground that were animated, like there was candles that were animated, some parts of the environment would be animated. When you go to fight the boss behind the Spencer Mansion, there's a light reflecting on that cave, and that added an extra level of dimension to the pre-rendered backgrounds that made it actually insanely great, to quote Steve Jobs. So, in the same vein, if you go into some of the environments, not all of them, but some of the environments, you look up at the sky, the clouds are moving. You look down at the water, the water's rippling. Some, some environments, it actually rains. So the combination of using pre-rendered backgrounds that are rendered onto a textured 3D space, in addition to other elements that are animated, creates these insanely great graphics on what is essentially an iPhone strapped to your face that has to power two 4K displays. So it's really good to see that Apple is learning from its elders, especially a game like Final Fantasy VII, which blew everyone away back on PlayStation 1 because of its pre-rendered backgrounds. And yes, we've come a long way from the blocky characters that walk around those backgrounds, as you can see in the dinosaur experience. Apple could fully concentrate on putting all of the pixels into the scales of the dinosaurs. I'm telling you, these dinosaurs look so good and detailed. And I haven't really seen anything like that on the MetaQuest 3 because so far they haven't been smartly using pre-rendered backgrounds in order to render their scenes. Thanks for watching. I'm sad because I have a gaming PC, not a PS5. So I have to wait to play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth until I think May. So in the meantime, I have a bunch of Apple Vision Pro content coming out. Get subscribed for that, including a video that compares the Apple Vision Pro to the MetaQuest 3. And to put it lightly, it really shown some light on things about the MetaQuest 3 that I didn't realize were as bad as they were. So get subscribed, stay tuned, and I hope to see you soon.